Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how to clip a raster by mask layer using the alpha band in QGIS. What this boils down to is that sometimes you want to clip a raster by an irregular polygon shape. And maybe you'd like for the clipped raster to be displayed uh, only within that exact polygon shape and not as a rectangle. So how are we going to do that? Um, here's our problem. We have a uh, rectangular raster here, shown by these white boxes, and we want to clip it by a polygon, which is the blue oval. However, because raster files have to be rectangular grids by definition, when we clip by polygon, an oval-shaped polygon, the GIS software must export a rectangular raster. It must export values for these pixels that are not actually inside of the polygon that we're using to clip. Um, so typically if you do that, you do that clip operation, the yellow pixels are still going to be in the, the raster, but they might be assigned a value of zero, sometimes maybe they'd be assigned a no data, but in QGIS they're often assigned to a value of zero, while you have the original raster values uh, inside the polygon. So uh, using an alpha band, what this actually does, uh, when you run the clip, it actually adds a band to your raster. So if you have a one band raster, you now have a two band raster. That second band has the exact same extent as the first band, of course. Um, and what it is, it's really a built-in display mask. So the alpha band is a built-in display mask. And if the alpha band is present and activated, um, these yellow pixels, rather than say showing up as black because they have a value of zero, they'll show up as transparent. So it looks like you've achieved a tight clip. All right, let me show you what I mean in QGIS. Uh, we've got a project going. We have uh, a digital elevation model shown in gray. We have the outline of the Middlebury River watershed shown in red. And let's say I'm trying to create a display where I have I clip this raster so we only see the pixels that are within the Middlebury watershed. So I can go ahead and use my clip raster by mask tool and I'll select EM as the input file, my watershed as the mask. I'm going to give you a quick example where I do not check create alpha band. And of course it is important to have this match the extent um, checked if you want to get the extent of your polygon. So let's hit run, that's going to be a quick job. So notice what happened here. A clip, and we now have all of these black pixels, which have a value of zero, and the pixels inside the watershed have their elevation value. So that did not do what we wanted. We don't want to show these black values. So one way to deal with this, there's a couple, uh, another way to deal with this is to use the, the alpha band. So when we go to now clip the raster, we're going to again use the DEM. We're going to check this create output alpha band. So we'll hit run, close it. So now when you look at our clip, you can see it appears to be a tight clip. And truthfully, it is actually not a tight clip. If we click on the values inside the watershed now, you can see that the first band still gives us the elevation, but the second band is now the alpha band. It's been added in, and it has a value of 255, showing that pixels within the, the clipping polygon should be fully displayed. And if you click outside of that clipping polygon, uh, it has a value of zero. And if you click outside of the raster extent, we get nothing. So even though there's nothing that appears here, there are actually raster values um, which are both zero. So final thing I'll do is just show you one more representation of that. We'll go into the clipped mask, right click, properties, and if we go into single band pseudo color, we can now choose what band we want to display, and notice we have these two bands to choose from. Here's our alpha band. If we choose that and hit apply, we can actually see, again, 
uh, rendering of what it looks like if you just display that alpha band. So in summary, the alpha band is a second band that gets added to your raster that acts as a mask. Uh, for calculation, raster calculator purposes, it's important to recognize that you still have um, zero values in the areas that are covered by the alpha band. Thanks.